witnessing the continuous collapse of our food supply chain. And over the past couple of years, that process has dramatically accelerated extreme weather, supply chain disruptions, avian flu, shortages of farming equipment, labor and fertilizers, as well as the escalation of geopolitical conflicts and major inflationary pressures are all creating a nightmare scenario for food production in the U.S. and all over the world. Many of the staples that we consume every day and usually take for granted are at risk of disappearing from our stores in the months and years ahead. That's why today we have listed 25 specific foods that may soon or may already be in very short supply and whose prices are already going through the roof. Before moving on, please support our work with a thumbs up on this video and don't forget to subscribe. Without further ado, let's check this list. 1. Meat Take a look at your local grocery store shelves. How barren is the meat counter? It probably is far emptier than it was in 2019. The pandemic triggered the shutdown of several meat plants and unprecedented labor disruptions in the industry that ended up pushing meat, poultry, and pork prices up by 20% or more. Supply chain issues also created considerable holes in the infrastructure for the production and distribution of meat products. And more recently, millions of cases of avian influenza has led to the decimation of egg-laying chicken flocks all over the country. Because of this, many stores are already experiencing major chicken shortages. To make things worse, lots of consumers are panic buying as much chicken as they can now, even at record prices, before it all disappears. From now on, meat supplies are expected to get even tighter, especially after ranchers sold off millions of cattle during this summer's drought. Given that it takes years to raise cattle until they reach the right size and wait for slaughter, our national meat supply is likely to remain strained for the foreseeable future. 2. Milk and Dairy Products Milk is a nearly universal staple in American households, with over 90% of families having it in their fridge, according to data provided by the Center for Dairy Excellence. So it's a little alarming to know that we're in the middle of a massive milk crisis. With a shortage of grass and grain for cow feed hitting farmers hard this summer, many of them were forced to sell their cows much earlier than normal, which means these cows won't be breeding and therefore producing milk. They're being slaughtered at a young age to boost the national supply of beef, so milk and dairy products will be much harder to find in the months ahead prices are going to be significantly higher too. 3. Wheat One of the major ripple effects of the ongoing Ukraine crisis is that wheat and wheat-related products like bread are getting more expensive and supplies are shrinking worldwide. Known as Europe's breadbasket, Ukraine's uniquely fertile soil produces some of the best wheat on the planet, but farming has been disrupted during the conflict with Russia. To make matters worse, other countries like India and China are banning wheat exports. According to CBS News, prices of plain old ordinary flour have already risen over 30% since February. Wheat is one of those things that you might not miss until you don't have it, but you shouldn't forget to include it in your stockpile, particularly now that geopolitical conflicts continue to escalate. 4. Cereals other important cereals such as maize and rice are also in danger. Croplands that were once suitable are projected to shift and possibly become obsolete due to oscillating temperatures and unpredictable weather, the UN says. While demand is projected to increase by 33%, maize and rice crops are expected to decline by 51% in the next few years. So, the time to start stocking up on these cereals and storing them safely is rapidly running out. 5. Vegetable Oils Every restaurant and most households use vegetable oils. 
Major food companies use vegetable oils to make both dry and baked goods. Pasta, chocolate, cookies, and mayonnaise all contain vegetable oil. But these products are going to be in shorter supply over the next months and years. This year, the price of the most used vegetable oil, palm oil, has jumped by 50% while canola oil prices surged by 55%. According to Dr. Sylvian Charlebois, director of Dalhousie University's Agri-Food Lab, which tracks agriculture, agribusiness, and food distribution systems globally, noted that vegetable oil is probably the ingredient thing we take for granted. But it's in many, many food items we buy. Because of everything that's going on right now, it's the perfect storm. There's the Ukrainian conflict impacting sunflower oil and palm oil, which is in many, many different products we buy every single day. Indonesia's decision to halt exports is quite problematic. Things are gonna get much tighter. 6. Sugar A major proof that everything in the world is interconnected. Sugar shortages are likely to erupt as a result of the global energy crisis. Reuters report that sugar-producing behemoth Brazil is facing a fallout from the increase in energy prices, and the country is now expected to use more sugarcane for ethanol fuel instead of converting it to the sweet stuff and sending it around the world. At the same time, there's also a massive shortage in the Philippines, which prompted soda giant Coca-Cola to halt production in the country. Plenty of packaged foods, even savory ones, have a lot of added sugar. So it's not just sweet treats that will be in short supply in the coming months. It's pasta sauces, marinades, and prepared foods too. 7. Mustard Even though mayo and ketchup are America's first and second favorite condiments, mustard is right behind them. The wicked result of bone-dry fields in the U.S. and Canada is creating a mustard shortage that's likely to persist for years. The Canadian government's official agriculture website reports that the outlook is pretty bleak for 2023, with mustard seed production slashed and seed prices going through the roof. That means that even if you can find your favorite mustard brand on store shelves, you'll have to pay much more for it. If you see a bunch of your favorite mustard in the supermarket, stock up now before it's too late. 8. Honey The amount of honey produced in the United States has gradually been declining. In fact, honey production is down 49% in the last 20 years. The staple will become harder and harder to find, especially because last winter, Beekeepers across the country faced average losses of nearly 45%, with some bee farms seeing losses as high as 90%, according to Leonard Foster, a professor of biochemistry and molecular biology at the University of British Columbia, who calls these losses shocking. The disappearance of bees, as well as a problem for pollination, also marks the probable loss of this ancient and historic sweetener in the longer term. The decline of bee colonies has been largely linked to pesticide use and extreme weather, and it threatens not only the production of honey, but of many fruits, nuts, grains, and vegetables that are dependent on pollination to grow, therefore endangering the existence of the entire global food supply. 9. Cherries Cherry production requires hours of coal to develop the fruit. Rising temperatures mean trees may bloom later and produce less fruit. Too cold can also be just as disastrous. A late freeze also results in severe crop losses. This year, we lost 25% of the global cherry supplies due to frost damage, and the northwestern cherry crop is said to be the smallest in the decade, according to B.J. Thilby, president of the Northwest Cherry Growers. Snowy and cold conditions in April caused northwestern states to lose 98% of their cherry crop. That will likely mean higher prices at local grocery stores and farmers markets. And with cherries taking longer to develop, consumers will have to wait longer to get their first taste of the juicy red fruit next year, he said. 10. Coffee 
Coffee is one of the most popular psychoactive substances we consume on a daily basis. But for years, coffee production has been declining all around the world, and that trend will continue to intensify as temperatures get increasingly warmer, repelling bees from coffee crops, and resulting in dramatically smaller harvests. According to the National Academy of Sciences, when bees pollinate coffee crops, they not only widen the yield of the crops, but they also increase the quality of the beans. With a massive decline in the global bee population, 88% of coffee production can be lost by the end of the decade. Those who can't live without coffee should probably stockpile it while they still can, because soon it may be gone from our food supply chain for good. 11. Wine of the 1,100 varieties of grapes that exist, approximately 12 of them, that's 1%, make up the majority of our favorite wines. A new study released by Nature Climate Change suggests wine lovers should start storing their favorite bottles while they still can, because wine production is set to drop by 85% in the next eight years, as the world's main wine-producing regions become too hot to produce premium grapes. 12. Potatoes Both a hearty staple and a guilty pleasure as a salty snack, potatoes are already starting to disappear from the menu in many countries and it's only a matter of time before it affects the U.S. too, the Washington Post says. Since 2021, global potato yields have been declining. In several countries, including Japan and the U.K., McDonald's and KFC restaurants temporarily took French fries off the menu due to the worsening shortage. Americans are also at risk of seeing the effects of lower potato production in 2023, which means you should also keep your eyes peeled for this one. 13. Beer As the summer drought depleted some important water reservoirs in the U.S., the Natural Resources Defense Council shows that about a third of U.S. breweries are finding it increasingly difficult to ensure stable water supplies for beer production. Additionally, some specialty hops used by craft brewers have already become more difficult to source, as warm winters are producing earlier and smaller harvests. Soon, consumers will be faced with fewer choices and much higher prices for beer. 14. Bananas the Cavendish species, the most commonly cultivated with a high commercial number, is being hit by a deadly fungal infection that stains the soil and leads to Panama disease, which causes the bananas to blacken and deteriorate from the inside. The disease is spreading rapidly across countries with the highest banana production and steadily shrinking supplies worldwide. Frequent floods and droughts are also threatening the stability of global banana production in the near term. Even more alarming, a recent University of Exeter study estimates that the species could be extinct by 2050. 15. Chocolate As the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration explains, cacao is only able to grow and prosper if a stringent set of requirements is met. Not only can cacao only grow within around 20 degrees north and south of the equator, but if the humidity isn't high enough or if the soil isn't rich enough, the cacao will wither and die. Given that rising temperatures continue to kill cacao plantations, global cocoa production is expected to collapse by nearly 40 percent in 2023, which means that next year it will become extremely difficult to find your favorite chocolate at the store. 16. Soybeans Soybeans account for 90% of the United States oilseed production and are a great energy source for biofuel production as well, which makes them one of the most economically important beans in the world. However, they've been quietly disappearing from our food supply chain in recent years. Brazil, one of the biggest global producers, has seen a loss of 18 million tons of soybeans this year. And in 2021, Brazilian soybean exports fell by 28%. The staple is also being victimized by extreme weather conditions and supply chain bottlenecks. According to the UN's Food and Agricultural Organization, 
2022 soybean crops could collapse by 20%. Consequently, the world could experience significant soybean shortages in 2023. 17. Strawberries Strawberries may soon vanish from our grocery stores. Florida and California grow more than 95% of the United States strawberry supply. The states were also some of the state's hardest hit by drought and heat waves this year, resulting in a tough crop season and a weaker than expected harvest. The long-term outlook doesn't look good either. According to the International Society for Horticultural Science, the unstable climatic conditions are resulting in abbreviated crop cycle durations, and the trend could signify a permanent decrease in strawberry production, as well as an increase in price. 18. Maple Syrup Enjoy your fluffy pancakes topped with maple syrup while you can, because the sugar maple tree responsible for syrup is stressed to the point of decline, according to the Maple Research Center. Maple syrup production is intrinsically linked with the weather. Sap is only able to flow when temperatures rise above freezing during the day and then plummet below it once night falls. The shift in temperature is essential. The pressure forces the sap out of the tree. But climate change has rendered the once dependable weather conditions unpredictable, explains researcher Timothy Perkins, who noted that the maple syrup industry is going to completely disappear before the end of the century. 19. Peanuts Peanut crops are really hard to maintain. They require a stable and particular environment to grow. Too little rain, they'll fail to germinate. Too much rain, they'll grow moldy and potentially contract a disease. To cap it off, they don't respond well to too much heat either. Their shoots will become scorched and they'll fail to grow at all an NBC report highlighted. Most of America's peanut production comes from the southern states, which faced blistering heat waves and abnormally dry weather this year, leading to the destruction of entire peanut crops. Soon, we'll see the impact of these crop failures at the stores as peanut shortages begin to spread. They're also among the nut species at risk of facing extinction by the end of the millennium. 20 fish. An eye-opening World Wildlife Fund report exposed that over 85% of global fish stocks have been steadily going down due to illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing, posing a major threat to many endangered species such as the Atlantic bluefin tuna. Over 30% of the world's fisheries have been pushed beyond their biological limits and are in need of strict management plans to restore them, the World Wildlife Fund reports, adding that many commercial fish populations have declined to the point where their survival as a species is threatened. On top of that, over 80% of the winter crab harvest has been cancelled this year. In 2023, finding seafood at our local supermarkets will be significantly harder. 21. Tomatoes a recent Washington Time report notes that California's tomato crops are being devastated by this crazy weather. The Golden State's parched farmland is likely to have massive impacts on the tomato supply for months. As a result, you can expect scarcer selections of tomatoes at your local grocery store, and tomato-based products will be on the chopping block too. 22. Blueberries Blueberries are rich in anti-inflammatory properties they're very important cure for the entire cardiovascular system. This year, the California blueberry harvest was 15% smaller than in 2021, falling by approximately 20 million pounds. And given that around 25% of the blueberries produced in the United States are exported, we're facing a declining domestic supply right now. Moreover, experts say that these berries are heavily dependent on the pollination of insects, especially bees. This correlation has put them in a real risk of extinction in the long run. 23. Corn Water shortages and warmer temperatures also put corn at risk. In fact, a rise in temperatures of just 1 degree Celsius can slow its growth rate by 7%. 
The impact of the ongoing outage in corn production will extend far beyond the product section of the supermarket food chain. A massive amount of corn is in fact used to feed livestock, so lower yields of corn are also going to affect the meat market in the months ahead. Global corn production had already sunk nearly 4% from what it would have been if the climate hadn't warmed. 24. Oranges Oranges are rich in fiber, mineral salts, vitamins, and antioxidants, and help promote the absorption of the iron contained in plant foods, and they're a staple in our diets and in school meals. Unfortunately, all citrus fruits are at risk worldwide due to an outbreak of yellow dragon disease, formerly known as citrus greening. This citrus tree disease is caused by a bacteria that spreads throughout the tree canopy, causing it to decline and eventually die. The disease is affecting oranges in Florida and has also been detected in Bhutan, Brazil, China, and elsewhere. Production keeps going down and supplies will get increasingly smaller at our local supermarkets. 25. Almonds The demand for almonds is constantly increasing, but there are doubts about cultivation getting increasingly unsustainable. Large-scale agricultural methods are the cause of the death of many bees due in part to pesticides and parasites, and the pollination of almond trees seems to have become a problem. Roughly 7,600 California farms produce 82% of the world's almonds. But this year, the almond harvest has fallen by nearly 500 million pounds. Considering that over two-thirds of the almonds we grow domestically are exported overseas, our food supply chain may be left with too few supplies to attend to the consumer demand. These are just some of a long list of food products that will become harder and harder to find. The downfall of our food supply chains is a slow-motion train wreck that is unfolding before our eyes. The coming years will be incredibly challenging, and millions upon millions of people will have food insecurity, hunger, and starvation. The era of abundance is over. And now we'll all be forced to contend with limited options and exorbitant prices.